Justice Sopo not only admits he was the mastermind behind the Manti Teo girlfriend hoax, but we watch as this big, burly 22-year-old man goes behind this privacy screen and allegedly transforms his voice into what sounds like the fictitious female character he created, Lene. Here's the original voicemail. Hey, babe, I'm just going to say goodnight. I love you. This is the coolest breakdown. If you like content like this, Go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button for me. Now let's get to it. Now the wild story of Manti Teo, aka the biggest hoax in sports history, all begins in 2009, where the South Bend Tribune reported that Notre Dame linebacker Manti Teo met Kakua, a Stanford student outside Palo Alto, California. This is following the Fighting Irish's 45-38 win over the Cardinal in 2009. However, the article has since been deleted. So now let's fast forward to September 11th, 2012. Taylor received a call that his grandmother, Antoinette Santiago, has passed away who he was very close with. And then just six hours later, he then received news. His girlfriend, Lene Kakua, has passed as well from leukemia, which doctors reportedly discovered while treating her from a near fatal car crash eight months prior. Now, just saying this out loud sounds very suspicious in the reporting. To add, Manti had the opportunity to sit out the next game against 10th ranked opponent Michigan State. However, his ill girlfriend wished against it. So this news was made public. The fighting Irish fans, to go along with the sports world, got behind him that game. And fans in the stands wore thousands of Hawaiian ladies in honor of the tragedies. Notre Dame went to have a near perfect season with their only loss being in the national championship led by the defensive player of the year and Heisman finalist Manta Ateo, which is extremely hard for a defensive player to do that. Now this can all be credited to Teo using his girlfriend's tragic passing as an emotional charge to uplift the season. But it turns out that this was all a hoax and a crazy catfishing experiment. Now, people assumed that Teo was in on it and the media itself put the blame on him. However, he legitimately thought this was a real woman who he had a genuine connection with. Now, the individual behind the whole hoax wanted to play some sick internet game with Manti. He was also a ventriloquist who was able to disguise his voice to trick him into thinking he was an attractive woman. He even went on TV to show his voice changing ability. It's crazy. Now, Manti can be looked at as being young and kind of gullible for falling for it while not meeting this person in person for three whole years. However, the catfisher had ill intentions while Manti did not. Now, the catfisher blames his actions on childhood trauma in his own personal life which is the usual cop-out people use for doing something out of left field. He used pictures of his old classmate from his old high school to trick him. The irony of this whole story is the same media that built up Manti into being a hero also brought him down without doing any research or trying to verify anything on both occasions. Now, the person responsible did apologize. However, the damage was already done to Teo 
and his family who were grieving a heavy loss at the time. So after this whole debacle, Manti Teo's draft stock plummeted. He was coming off of one of the greatest college football seasons ever for a defensive player. And before the negative attention that Manti received, he was a for sure first round pick. It seems though all the outside noise took a toll on him and he ended up being drafted in the second round by the San Diego Chargers and then eventually left the league in early 2021. Manti Teo and his family appeared to have moved on and he was able to clear his name and tell the full side of the story in the 2022 Netflix documentary, Untold, The Girlfriend Who Didn't Exist. And once this documentary came out, the public criticized the media and the catfisher while Manti was able to move on. This is the coolest breakdown. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Now, if you like content like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button for me. Also, comment and share as well. I'm out. Peace.